Welcome back everyone. I'm here with our car audio expert, Mike, and today he's brought in two channel amps. He's got a couple of them here, a few of them actually. And can you tell me a little bit more about these amps that we have? Um, yeah, basically I got one from DB Drive, one from Orion, and one from Audiobon. Uh, we can start off with the one from Audiobon, sure. it being the smallest. Okay. Um, basically I'll explain a little bit in general on, on these two channel amps. What they are is two channels rated anywhere from, for example, this one's 50 by two, but they are bridgeable. What bridgeable means is you can take the two channels and combine them into one channel. Okay. For example, you use the positive from one of the channels to the negative from the other channel. Mm -hmm. You have to read the manual. It specifies which ones to use. Okay. That tells and <laughs> with this amp, it'll give you 200 watts, which pretty much doubles your power into one channel. Oh, okay, great. For this little guy actually, heat sinks on the side and fan in the fan middle. In the middle. That's great. Keep it cool. We'll move on to the DB Drive. This one's a little bit heavier, a little more beefy. Mm -hmm. Same deal with the, the bridgeability. This one is rated at 90 watts by two. And when bridged, it gives you 300 watts. So I mean, this is more than enough to run your average pair of six by nines, five and a quarters, pair of subs if you want to bridge it. You can also run the subs in stereo. It's just a matter of personal's, personal preference by the consumer. Okay. And lastly, we have the Orion. Yeah, this one is actually a high current amp. This one is actually rated at 25 watts by two. But being a high current, you can put more of a load on the amplifier and actually get 400 watts by one out of this one. Okay. So bridge, it'll give you 400 watts. Now again, it has all of your built-in crossovers. Um, RCA inputs has an auxiliary out on it. And this one being high current, um, you really need to have a good alternator and a good sort of power supply and battery setup in the car. All right. Um, so you want to keep. Remember. Yeah, exactly. You want to be keeping this amp with uh, a fairly good amount of voltage, anywhere between 12 and 14 volts. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, the amp can go into protection if it does get a little bit of low voltage through it. Mm -hmm. So you do want to keep the voltage up for this guy. It does run fairly warm, but again, it's built that way and. That's how she can runs. It, right? Exactly. Um, now, what's the difference between getting a two channel amp, a four channel amp, or even a mono? A mono amplifier is only made to run one channel. Mm -hmm. uh, the two channel amps are a little more versatile. Uh, they can run two channel or a mono if bridged. Okay. A two channel amp, in many cases, is just half a four channel amp. Okay, so what's the difference between me getting two two channel amps and getting a four channel? Like, would you advise against either? Um, a lot of times people start off with a two channel amp okay. simply because of price. It's less expensive than a four channel amp. Right. So in many cases they'll add a two channel amp just to get more volume out of the system in general mm -hmm. or just to add a pair of subs to your, your existing setup. Okay, great. Thanks Mike. No problem.